Today I'd like to talk about the Makawari Board and training. I feel that this is an essential part of one's training in martial arts. Uh, too often, through years of training, the karateka will uh, train in uh, just standing in place, drill work, or even pulling the punches in combat with another student. And they never feel what it's like to hit something solid. So this is, in my opinion, very important for one's training. Um, I learned this from uh, a man who spent most of his career in Japan. It was Sensei David Kosinchuk and he, when he came here. And uh, he taught my brother and myself how to use this board. This, this board is uh, also a personal type of training. Um, I may not use this identical to someone else in the school, but uh, in our training, in the Shotokan system, what we use this board is to develop the, the mechanics of the reverse punch, the delivery system. And by constantly doing this, we can develop speed, develop power, and develop the psychological effect of overcoming, hitting something extremely hard. Uh, before we get uh, started in actually uh, uh, exercising with this board, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the board uh, itself. This is an iron sleeve that will hold three boards together. It's bolted in, into the floor, and that's very important that it's really uh, secure. The first board is the striking board. This is the board that uh, takes all the punishment. These are uh, one by six maple boards. The center board is a tension board. This um, controls the tension in the first board. The longer that tension board, the more tension you're going to get in this striking uh, board. The third board is the clacking board. So when you hit this, um, you'll hear a clacking sound. And uh, that's a, it's a psychological development that one should uh, practice to get a better feel for hitting something solid. There's different types of uh, pads that we use as well. For the beginner, these are one by six pads that you can get, they bend and you can attach them to the front of the board. For the beginner, this is a great idea. It saves on the, uh, on the fists and knuckles until the uh, practitioner gets a little bit more used to it. Then next, as, uh, this is what I was trained on. It's just a white belt. You wrapped around the board, and this is what I used, uh, and my brother as well. <coughs> That's, we used this back then. And so when using this type of um, uh, padding, uh, you get a better feel for this board, but you're not going to be able to hit this board uh, many times. What we used to do is uh, hit it 10 or 15 times as hard as we can, switch sides, and then rotate around. Uh, so uh, this was not a board uh, in this manner that you could hit for hours. It wasn't designed like that. Not this type of padding. Over here, my partner, uh, Gerald Blanding, <coughs> he likes just the leather. This is thin as well. Um, it gives you a better feel for the board itself. So everybody has their own preference on, on the pads. Some of the other schools will use uh, bamboo or rope, but um, hitting it as hard as we do, that'll definitely tear your hands up. Okay. So that is the construction of the Makawari board. For the beginner who's just starting out, we want them to take a, uh, a reasonably uh, a, a front stance and we want to torque when we open this thing up um, we want to open the hip up and align the hip with the board so that when this punch comes out it comes out straight and just hits the board center and it's important that this this punch comes out straight and with no bend in the elbow if the elbow bends energy goes out that elbow and that's not what we want so we want to keep this nice and straight okay also, keeping that heel flat on the floor is essential for developing power. If the heel comes up, this is the action you're going to get, and that's not what we want. So we want to plant that foot and heel into the floor. Pull back, and this is going to be a short punch. This should be a vertical punch for the beginner student. And he's not, it's not going to be a full punch. From here, oh. For the advanced punch, 
we want to take a longer stance, making a uh, longer punch, more forceful punch. But in doing that, we have to be careful that when we do that, we don't want to reverse the, the fist over too far. If we reverse it over too far, we lose the connection in the lance muscle. And if we lose that, the arm is no longer connected to the lats, which is no longer connected to the back, the buttocks, the quad, and into the floor. So that's very important that don't, don't uh, rotate the fist too far over. Line it up. Now, Mr. Blanding is going to show a variation to that. He's going to hit it four or five times, and then he's going to show you a variation to that punch, and it's traveling with that punch. My brother showed him how to do this, and it's a, it's a technique developed for sparring where he's actually engaged in the attack, but he hesitates for a second, throws the partner off, and then the attack comes out. So, Mr. Blanding's been uh, working with that. He's going to show you a few regular reverse punches and then switch to the traveling. Okay. Now he's going to back up and another variation of developing that. together with another partner, this is kind of what it looks like when we're both working together on boards. Okay. And that's our, our Makawari training for today.